Hey everybody, welcome to Meddling World. Milton has come. Milton is causing some flooding here. Come on in, check it out. That's right guys, this, I just want to kind of, first of all, thank you to every single person who has sent us messages uh, on Meddling World, on Facebook, family, friends, people who subscribe, checking in, just asking how we're doing. I want to thank everybody for that. I think I try to answer every single person who has contacted us. Milton has come and gone. It's out in the Atlantic now, on the other side. But there's been some, uh, it's been pretty rough down here for a lot of people in Florida. We're in the center of the state, and I just want to show you, this is all flooding. Uh, this is where we live. I'm on my, my patio here um, in our apartment complex. And I haven't even gone out really anywhere around the complex, but I'm going to because I think this is overflowing from the retention pond. So let's just go have a little quick look around and see what's going on. Guys, let's just go for a little walk around and see. Like I said, I haven't been out here. So that's the dog park. Uh, just a kind of perspective is during the end, a couple years ago, that whole park, the water came right up into the, to the back end of that park. But not too bad here. I mean, there's some branches, a little bit of water there. But let's take a walk around the corner. And actually, when I shut the camera off, I went back in, grabbed a coat. Uh, I mean, not too bad here. I've been following in, you know, around the neighborhood. This is Celebration Florida, by the way, if you're new to the channel. This is the community I live in. Uh, apartment community here. There's several of them in Celebration. We never lost power. All the power is underground in town. Uh, but again, just kind of want to show you a little update. There's a branch there. But what I got a feeling is we're going to have to go over to the back side because I think this is why all that water is in the back. Because this, you can see, well, hard to see probably on the camera. Let me come over here. Well, first of all, there's usually a big fountain in the middle here. But if you look straight back, that's that's up over where the water drains. So there's like a block there with a, with a kind of a pipe that keeps the water level at a certain, uh, you know, level, basically. And with this hurricane, it has breached that. So it's flowing in the back and it's coming around. We'll probably try to take a walk back there. But during the last hurricane, now this water, I think, I don't know. It's hard to tell if it's gonna rise in the back by my house because last time what happened was it rose over a few days. Guys, this is just kind of an update vlog, nothing exciting, just kind of touching base and showing you what's going on here. But the last hurricane, the water actually came up where those two trees are, up over that and in, in overflowed, so. But we'll take a walk back over there. Uh, I figured I'd grab my mail while I was out here. Here's a mailbox. I see blue skies. <laughs> <laughs> haven't seen a blue sky in a few days let's have a look here around the pool area the good thing is they took all this furniture and you can see they stored it here in a clubhouse i think yeah this is one of our clubhouses and they did store a lot of that there uh i know following the facebook pages especially if you're local there are trees and debris in town but we're under a curfew still right now oh they locked this i can't even get in yeah there's definitely a little bit of looks like that shower i thought that wow well, wow that's weird that that's all bent up there's a sign down there's lots of debris in the pool i don't know if you can see maybe i can try to walk around that side by the dog park we can have a look oh wait a minute <clears throat> let's just walk this way there you go matt it's early guys i just coming out of the house it's about 8 30. it was very very strange last night because i was up most of the night around 1 30 in the morning everything really calmed down and then the winds picked up again around 2 2 30. Oof. so you can definitely see that water up i don't want to get near that water because guys there's alligators man so this is what i was telling you last time this is a better look i'm glad i came over here now you guys can really see um how it's working here so last time the water actually came up this way and emptied out and started flowing but you can see that's where the, the 
the flooding starts. So let's take a walk over and see what it looks like over here so you guys can get a perspective. But this is the problem that's going on here in Central Florida is flooding. And it's amazing to think, wow, look at that awesome hawk just came down and got something. Wow. So yeah, uh, on this side, it's kind of, you can't really see it now. And like I said, I'm not getting too close to the water. Believe me, there are alligators, man. And th there's a couple big ones in here. That water's coming up. It's all flowing down this way. Let's take a walk over by the dog park. So this ground here, this is just totally saturated. It rain, it's been raining kind of off and on all week before the hurricane. And the ground was so wet. There's nowhere for the water to go. Wow, look at that. This is all dry usually, guys. And last time, this water kept coming up for several days because there's nowhere for this water to go. There's one main river that's many miles from here where everything drains into but there's all these ponds and little well in florida everything's called a lake no matter how big it is a lake but there's all these lakes and this is a you know one that's not supposed to be here and the water it just can't go anywhere but you can see the dog park here guys and i was mentioning that's kind of been the problem in central florida is flooding i haven't even really gotten to look at the news i haven't really been online besides facebook when i woke up looking at our community pages definitely trees down i didn't see a lot of flooding around the other parts of town but this definitely just a quick update guys just wanted to update you uh, maybe we'll just take a quick walk i'm a, i'm in my community i'm walking i'm not out driving on the roads but i want to take a walk up up to the main road just to have a look around up there I noticed there's some more roof there. I don't think you can see there, but there's like those three windows. The one closest to me, I can see the shingles there ripped up in the back. So a little bit of damage there. But up here, this is Celebration Boulevard. World Drive's off to the left. Right near Disney. By the way, Disney, Universal all closed today. Something else here in the street. It looks like a piece of a car or something. Oh yeah, wow. Lots of just little, these are from the palms. Still windy. Oh yeah, bunch of palm. Uh, I forgot the word they use on, uh, that just looks like bark. Let's have a little look. Yeah, lots of this here. <clears throat> Take a walk over this way. Yeah, you can see that. Yeah, the street. Lots of this stuff over there too, 7-Eleven. No gas, taped off. That was another problem the other day. I went to try to get gas. I had to drive. This was two days before the storm. So the storm came in yesterday, Thursday, Tuesday, around noon. I said, man, I'm going to fill up my tank. And that gas station was out. The other one in celebration was I had to go into Disney to the car care center. But yeah, lots of debris out in the road. But again, kind of looking, I think... You know, this is Florida, man. These these buildings are all new. Newer. You know, and they definitely build them strong, man. Wow. And you can see, like I was saying, there's no power lines. There's no power lines. They're all under the ground. Matter of fact, I'll show you one of the boxes if I walk by. <clears throat> I meant this to just be a couple minutes, but I'm just kind of, you're kind of on the adventure with me. I'm just kind of out here discovering what happened? What's it look like out here? Yeah, you can see that. All of that stuff blowing around down here. Here we come over here to the other side. This is the north side, as they like to say. Uh, eh, let's just have a walk through this way. There's another pool and another retention pond here let's see what we can see just a lot of stuff on the ground oh it smells it does smell nice because it's all little pines so this side you can see the water did not go over on that side so that's good news and it kind of stayed in here so it's close i mean i don't know if there's still water draining in here but it's close 
it's close to going over I'd say it's got about six inches and again they took everything in from the pool but definitely debris in the pool it's just so weird looking out and there's no chairs or anything but we do definitely enjoy this community it's a great community to live in a lot of great people live here good community good town celebration love living in celebration but yeah this side looks like it's it has not come up over here so this this looks like it did you know retain all the water I do not see overflowing here at all which is good news Just kind of heading back over one other thing that came to mind too is here in Central Florida they do a great job with you know insect control they do a lot of spraying in fact I have when I lived in Connecticut as you can see Hartford Whalers when I lived in Connecticut mosquitoes I had way more issues with mosquitoes way more mosquito bites living up north down here in Florida you would think man it must be so many mosquitoes but I honestly can tell you I can walk out here any time of the day night I never get bit by mosquitoes but with all this standing water a lot of those chemicals and pest control the pesticides that they use are most likely all washed away so you can definitely get some issues with mosquitoes especially that water coming up in the back of our apartment so that's something to keep in mind oh there's a few little branches down here but overall i think we were very fortunate because that wind we had hurricane wind come through here last night man i'll tell you around two in the morning but just a different kind of vlog guys this is not an exciting vlog it's just more or less i know i want to keep in contact with the people that like to follow us people that send us messages my family and this is a great tool youtube is an awesome tool to use for those kind of things so very fortunate to have our channel to build be building our channel and to be able to use this platform not only just for all the fun things and going out to dinners and going cruising because this is life life happens we're fortunate other people are not during this storm Milton there are people that lost everything including lives have been lost with the tornadoes yesterday Ooh, very bad very bad did find a tree down here guys wow one other thing I wanted to kind of show you I just want to walk over here so I want to show you the drains because this is what happened last time with all the water uh, the drains over came up and the parking lot flooded and this drains they are almost to the top I don't know if you can see but less than a foot less than a foot to go and that water I, I got a feeling the water is going to continue to rise up because now all the water is draining out so I got a feeling this parking lot will flood out and I think the water in the back of our apartment will come up a little bit more We'll keep you posted on that though. But guys, thank you so much for watching Meddling World. Please take a moment. Subscribe to Meddling World if you haven't yet. And last but not least, see ya.